Far Cry 4 was seriously one of my favorite games when it came out. I probably played the crap out of that game. And I figured I'd give it another try. This time with no bullets, standard arrow, or even machete kills. So we're going to try and use mostly fire, explosives, and other indirect methods. There may be some exceptions to this rule, but I'm going to try and keep those to a minimum. Unnecessary breaking of this rule will have me reload a checkpoint. So let's just get into it. By just get into it, I mean watch a bunch of cutscenes that I can't skip. In all fairness, the opening does a pretty good job of laying out what's important. You are AJ, you're here to spread mom's ashes, this guy beats his monkey while on the bus, there's unrest in his country, and they're really, really trying to outdo Foss from the last game. I distinctly remember saying, stop the bus. Yes, stop the bus. Stop, shoot the bus. I'm very particular with my words. Stop. Shoot. Stop. Shoot. Do those words sound the same? That it got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. <laughs> actually, Min is actually pretty okay, exactly. alright. Now your mother, your mother on the hey. other hand. Right she... here. Now there, there's a little detail that just adds to King Min's like scariness factor because it, it, this is implying that telling him not to do something as batshit as eating someone else's ashes is a bad idea because who knows what could be even worse than that. I don't know, it's just it's just a good detail. And just like that, we can actually finally move our legs. Now, don't worry, it won't last long. I know, I know, there's a secret ending where we technically don't have to do anything. Haha, <laughs> very funny, but seriously, we're gonna do this for real. Now, I know that Far Cry 4 is in the before times when Far Cry games would actually give you a lot of money, but we still gotta stock up as much as possible if you wanna keep all our explosives and body armor stocked up. Uh oh, sounds like our pal from the bus isn't doing too hot. Yeah, I remember that episode. Anyway, that's a real bummer. So this is when you meet Sabal, who's with the Golden Path, and he wants you to help him with his freedom fighting, so he helps you bounce on out of there. Here we go. Keep your head down. Well, I don't want it. Oh, goddamn. Oh, well. I may have said no bullets, but I never said no explosive barrel, so I'm pretty sure this is kosher. Only thing left to do now is tank damage until I fall off the cliff anyway, no matter what I do. Okay, awesome. Only thing left to do is pick up a machete I'll never use, and then we're on our way. Luckily for me, I've pretty much mastered the stealth system at this point. Come on, something, anything. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that, let's try that. Okay, summoning bears is not quite fast enough. Thank God for time travel. Taking as many free skins as possible is gonna be very important because not being able to hunt with arrows 
may prove to be a hassle. Sicking animals will also be a great way to conserve ammunition. I will find you, Yeah, animals are cartoonishly effective. Yeah, don't mind me. Just trying to grab some grenades real quick, real quick. Oh, god damn it. Ooh, we spork. That were really. All right, no more messing around. Finding free body armor is going to be quite a godsend because it can be kind of expensive at the shop. Throwing knives occupy a bit of a uh, gray area for this run because they're kind of very effective, so I'm going to try and avoid using them on enemies. Having said that, I don't see a problem with using them on this cage here. This is kind of a good news, bad news situation, because obviously getting the enemies dead is good, but if they could kill the leopard for me, that'd be a great way to get some skins for free, especially for this run. RJ, my boy, are you busy? You don't mind me calling, do you? Fantastic. You really are an excellent listener. Look, no hard feelings about the crab rangoon. I know it's not for everyone's taste, but you'll be pleased to know I had the chef executed for his incompetence. Or was it his family we killed? <laughs> Regardless, next time I can promise you a better spread. That's the last time I'm kidnapping a fucking TV celebrity chef. Yeah, I know what I said. It's not against the rules, but it's probably at least a minute in the shame corner. Here we get a sneak peek at one of the game's new mechanics, climbing ropes. Wow. This is supposed to be your first real big gunfight, but, you know... Okay, you made it. Oh, finally. These boxes will basically refill your rockets and grenade launcher rounds, but they don't have any grenades or molotovs, so that will really help us right now. The sooner I can get some free leopard skins, the sooner I can hold more grenades. Ah, screw this, I'm bored. Oh. Ignore me, I'm just looking for more grenades. Oh, hello. You walked to the wrong side of town, partner. <laughs> God damn, that's great. Oh. Alright, please ignore me. <laughs> what, you think it's my fault? Take cover! That wasn't so bad. And just like that, we're done the prologue. Excellent. Welcome to Banapur, home of the Golden Path. Who's this? Where's Dapan? He didn't make it. In a very roundabout way, you can blame Dr. Phil for that. Let me understand. Dapan's dead? Hmm? And you brought me this? I'm not involved in, in whatever this is. I'm just... Looking for Lakshmana. We're in the middle of a fucking war. We don't have time for tourists. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him there? Since mom and dad are fighting, I guess we'll just go to the shop for now. No, 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 no. Yes, no. Y yes, no, no, no. Thank you, but no, no. For some reason, this game gives you a bunch of garbage, but it's good for selling instead of just giving me more money. I, I don't get it. I <gasps> Don't say anything. We'll be together soon. I already have some skins to make a wallet, but we're gonna need way more if we want to make this playstyle more fun and viable. Best way to get that second inventory slot is to do a Mita's quest before Savals. Is there anything I can do? I'm not a soldier, but I want to help. Okay. Sure. There's a farm not far from here. Kanan runs it, but she's old and she could use your help with some wild animals. I need you to keep the hides intact, so use this. <laughs> no. 
I haven't even unlocked explosive or fire tipped arrows yet. Not that it would do me any good right now because fire and explosives actually destroy pelts in Far Cry 4. Luckily I've thought of a loophole and I know it's not the throwing knives. I'm gonna run you over. Uh, I'm just kidding. Hey, where are you going? Come back. I was I, I said I was kidding. God damn. I don't have a little time to grab some resources I can't use. Wolves are a common nuisance for Canaan Farm. She's killed off a number of them, but this year they're especially aggressive, and I'm worried about her. There's a den nearby. Clear it out, huh? No need for arrows when you have technology. And just like that, the skin's still intact. Excellent. <sighs> Amita, I'm done. I, uh, brought you these pelts. I thought maybe you could use them. Hmm. It's a good RJ. But you keep them. Oh, that's a relief. There's only IOUs in there. I already turned that into a weapon slot. She has enough for her Tonka paintings. I'm sorry, Tonka what? This one is about the life of a guru. This one is about the demon Yalung. This one is about the goddess Kira. And that one... It's about Badra, the next Tarun Matara. The Tarun Matara is a living goddess, if you believe Sabal. It's no life for a child, being treated as an object, thing. Yeah, I usually go with the Amida quest line, but for the That's sake of a smoother explosion-centric playthrough, I may have to go with Sabal, but we'll see. Speaking of which... Fuck! Give him some morphine! And turn off that fucking radio! What happened to him? He fell. Pagan floods the airways and we have to endure his bullshit. Enough is enough! I told him to climb up the old bell tower, take over the transmitters, hijack the broadcasts locally. Except... I can do it. Ajay, stop volunteering us for things. Way to step up, brother. Oh well, it's a good excuse to use the hang glider on the way there. It's not exciting, but it is fun. I may have been taking the piss earlier, but using the grappling hook is actually quite fun. It makes it satisfying when you actually connect with a grappling point. Yeah, that's gonna be another minute in the shame corner. I know this joke is done to death by now, but... Now to carefully... And that's how you install Wi-Fi! Good work on the tower, brother. We're broadcasting on its frequency and bringing the truth to the people. When you have time, go see Longinus. He's a friend of the Golden Path and he'll be grateful you helped us. Longinus? Weapons dealer and priest. A little crazy, but if you want guns, he's the man to see. Might as well get some hunting in real quick. Thank God he's a priest, because I have sinned against nature. Welcome. I am Longinus. And you, you are AJ. Welcome to my church, away from church. That sells guns? Of course. Well, the meek shall inherit the earth, my friend. All they need are some good guns. Revelation 5.5. 5. It is the most... Invigorating weed. Hell yeah, Longinus rocks. Too bad his side quests stink, though. Uh, it is our savior. It is our savior returned to us as a lion, a warrior. So, I started thinking to myself, when the son of God is reborn, what gun would he use? I think you all know my opinion on the matter. This is for the first one. 
Vanderport is under attack. We need fighters here Sabah? now. What's happening? We're under attack. Stay away. Oh, shit. Don't worry, Sabal. I'm coming, and I've got a couple weapons I can't use. I wish you could remember what it was like back then, Andre. Your mother and I, with you on her hip. Oh, those were the days. She was never happier than she was back then, and I should say the same for myself. We had such plans, not just for our little family, but for Kirat. It wasn't always like this. I long for those days, but... Then it's too late. I tried. I really, really did. But this place is ruinous. Try not to let them drag you down, Andre. Ishwari didn't send you back here for that. In most playthroughs, I've found this part to be a breeze, but... Something terrible happened. My elite gamer reflexes unfortunately got the better of me, and so I must reload a checkpoint, which should be punishment enough. Besides, you're probably tired of seeing my dumb ass in the top corner anyhow. Cool. That's just that's just really cool. Luckily, the guys that throw Molotovs always drop them. Yeah. All you have to do is let them burn themselves out. He had C4 and mines on him the whole time. People need to see her. It'll comfort them. She's just a child, Sabal, and she's terrified. I'll take her home, and then we'll worry about the people, okay? This is what we get for rescuing Ajay. We hit Paul's house, he slaughters a village. This isn't on Ajay, it's on me. We can't worry about that now. They took the outpost, and they have hostages. Fine. The outpost first. Without it, we're cut off from the others. Brother, we need to talk. Sabal? What is it? I'm needed in Banapur, and Amita is focused on the outpost. So it's up to you to help with the hostages. I know it's a lot to ask, but they must be rescued before we take back the outpost. No problem. Uh, but first... Now, 
now we're in business. Was that a gunshot? Wait! Damn! Get out of here! Children! I anticipate the hostage rescuing may be challenging because you know, splash damage. C4 on butt cheeks. Oops. Alright, lesson learned. Come on, come on. In a way, this is actually kind of easier, because they only start executing hostages once you've been spotted, and if you're never spotted, well... Besides, I like to send my enemies to Valhalla in a bucket so that Odin knows they really earned it. The hostages are safe, Sabal. You're doing your father's name proud, Ajay. Ajay, it's Amita. I know that Sabal put you up to rescuing the hostages instead of taking back the outpost. Okay, you're new here, and Sabal can be very persuasive. I was already making arrangements to deal with the outpost, but now I have to retask my fighters so they can protect the hostages you rescued. There was a plan, and now it's fallen apart. It will be a while before things with the crew will blow over. Meanwhile, the enemy soldiers in that outpost will have plenty of time to dig in. Not if I can help it. Ajay, attacking that outpost on your own would be suicide. Sorry, what was that? I'm getting ready to raid the outpost. I can't hear ya. It's always good to mine up the entrances, just in case. B3, B3. Yes. Now to finally use those arrows I've been seeing. Thank you very much for watching.